Hello, to start this part of the review from simplifying the trigonometric expression. So secant beta times tangent beta divided by cosecant beta. So for such an expression, the best way is to rewrite all functions through sine and cosine. Secant is 1 over cosine tangent is sine beta over cosine beta and in denominator we have cosecant cosecant is the reciprocal of sine sine beta now let us see what can can we do here we can uh, we can multiply by sine beta to remove this denominator we multiply numerator by sine beta and denominator by sine beta will be cancelled and then we have the numerator transformed to sine squared beta divided by cosine squared beta Sine over cosine is tangent, so we got tangent squared beta. Secant squared mi minus tangent squared. We have a Pythagorean identity containing secant squared and tangent squared. I, I remind you how we got it originally. So the very basic Pythagorean identities sine squared x plus cosine squared x equal, equals 1. If you divide this by cosine, cosine squared x, you will get tangent squared x plus 1 equals 1 over cosine squared, which is secant squared x. So we have here secant squared minus tangent squared. So in this equation, in this identity, let us subtract secant squared. We'll get tangent squared x minus secant squared x and subtract 1 equals negative 1. So tangent squared minus. Or we could just uh, subtract tangent squared x and we will get that 1 equals secant squared x minus tangent squared x, which is exactly this expression that we want to evaluate and it is equal to 1. Another expression to simplify tangent over secant and here also we will write them through sine and cosine. Tangent is sine beta over cosine beta and it is divided by secant, which is 1 over cosine beta. So in numerator and denominator, we have fractions with the denominator cosine. Let us multiply by cosine beta, cosine beta. So this fraction is 1, so we don't change the original fraction. And in numerator and in denominator, we can cancel out cosine and we get left on the sine beta. Find the exact value of cosine 75 degrees. So here we can use either cosine of a sum identity or cosine of half, able, half angle. It must be identified in the problem what to use. So we can represent 75 as a sum cosine of 45 plus 30 degrees both angles 45 and 30 are on the unit circle so easy to find cosine of sum is cosine of the first of 45 times cosine of 30 minus product of sines sine of 45 times sine of 30 so cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2, cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2, 
minus sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2 sine of 30 one half so we have denominators 2 times 2 4 in both fractions in the numerator we have square root of 2 times square root of 3 square root of 6 minus square root of 2 cosine one more cosine of sine let us find sine sine of 105 and um, also we can find we can represent as a difference 150 minus 45 but sum is always better sine of 60 plus 45 degrees and use the formula for sine of sum sine of the first sine of 60 times cosine of the second cosine of 45 plus cosine of 60 sine of 45 so sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 cosine of 45 square root of 2 over 2 cosine of 60 1 half sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2 so the same denominator 4 square root of 6 plus square root of 2 find sine 2, two theta and cosine 2 theta given that sine of theta is square root of 2 over 7 so let us find all the cosine so our cosine of 2 theta we have a formula for cosine of double angle including only sine so we have three formulas with sine only with cosine only and with both sine and cosine of theta of course we will use the formula with sine 1 minus 2 sine squared theta sine squared theta is given so we substitute the given values 1 minus 2 times 2 over 7 squared 49 so to add this fraction we represent 1 as 49 over 49 so we have denominator 49 and in the numerator 49 minus 4 45 over 49 give the exact value of the expression cosine of tangent inverse of negative 6 so tangent inverse they represent an angle let us call this angle a so we want to find cosine of a and from this equation we know that tangent of a equals negative 6 so and this inverse function of negative number according to definition represents an angle in the fourth quadrant so the quadrant a in the fourth the angle a in the fourth quadrant with a tangent 6 tangent is y over x so we can it's not a very good sketch so 6 we can represent it by the point on the terminal side with the coordinate 6 and 1 then the tangent is so negative 6 and 1 tangent will be negative 6 of this angle this angle a so and we want to find cosine of a so for this point x equals 1 y equals negative 6 to def determine cosine we need to know r and r is the square root of 1 plus 6 squared 36 so r is square root of 37 
It means that cosine of a or cosine of tan inverse of negative 6 is 1 over square root of 37 or square root of 37 over 37. A similar problem, sine of 2 cosine in inverse of 1, 7. So cosine inverse is an angle, positive, so in the first quadrant, let us call this angle B. We can sketch this angle. So what do we know about this angle? B is cosine Cosine inverse of 1, 7 means that cosine of B equals 1, 7. So the angle in the first quadrant, cosine is x over r. So we can re represent this angle by this point on the ray with the coordinates, with the x coordinate 1 and with r equals 7. So x equals 1, r equals 7. So we are searching for, we we'll try to determine the sine of 2b, which is equal to sine b times cosine b. Sine b is y over r, cosine b is x over r which is 1 7 so we need to know sine over this so or cosine b is 1 7 we want to know sine sine is y over r and we need y so pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared so y squared must be r squared minus x squared 49 minus 1 so y equals square root of 48 so sine will be square root of 48 over 7 2 times square root of 48 over 7 times 1 over 7. So we can also simplify it a little bit. 48 is um, 3 times 16, so 4 squares of 3. So the, the, simplif uh, the simplified product will be 4 times 2, 8 times square root of 3 over 49. Solve the equation. So if the equation is in a factored form already, then each factor can give us a zero. So either cosine x equals zero or one minus two cosine x equals zero. Cosine equals as the x coordinate so it's equal zero at pi over two and at three pi over two so we are talking about degrees so 90 degrees and 180 oh sorry and 270 degrees two zeros already and the second factor gives another zero so let us solve for cosine mm. subtract one and divide by negative two we will get cosine x equals one half cosine equals positive one half these two points 60 degrees and 300 degrees so the solution set contains these four points 60, 90, 270, and 300. Another equation. This equation first must be factor, factored. So we can factor out tangent since it, 
is a common factor for both terms tangent x then in parentheses we have one from the first term minus sine x from the second equals zero so either tangent x equals zero or one minus sine x equals zero so add sine to the left and to the right and we get one equals sine x let us look at the unit circle where sine equals one so sine is the y coordinate so it equals one at this point at that, that x equal 90 degrees first solution now let us to let us see where tangent is equal to zero so tangent is equal to zero where sine equals zero sine y coordinate is equal to zero at these two points so x equals zero or 180 degrees another two solution so 3.090 and 180 degrees Find the length of the side A in the given triangle. So two angles are equal 60 and 75 degrees. The length of the side is 4 square root of 2. And we want to find the side. So here the best way to solve it to use the law of sines so there are two forms sine of a over a or a over sine of a so we will use the form with a in the numerator a over sine of a equals which side is given opposite to the angle c is the side c c over sine of c so a side a is equal c times sine of a divided by sine of c and let us substitute the numbers that are given in the problem c is 4 square root of 2 sine of a is sine of 60 degrees oh and sine of c so when we are given two angles it means that we know the third one c is 180 minus 60 minus 75 180 minus 60 120 120 minus 75 will be 45 degrees so divided by sine of 45 degrees let us continue here so a equals 4 square root of 2 sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 divided by sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2 let us multiply by 2 numerate and denominator to remove this fraction so the denominators then we can divide by square root of 2 numerator and denominator to remove these square roots then we get that a equals 4 square root of 3 and the last problem write a complex number in rectangular form so this one here this is quite easy and straightforward problem we just substitute the algebraical values for cosine and sine 10 multiplied by cosine of 270 oh, 240 it's negative one half plus i sine 270 negative 240 240 is the single negative square root of 3 over 2 distributing 10 get negative 5 minus i 
by square root of 3. In the third quadrant, bold sine and cosine are negative. In the rectangular form, bold real, real and imaginary components are negative.